So we are going to be learning how to insert voiceover into a Google slide. So that way, whenever you go to a slide, it automatically plays audio of you either reading the slides or giving examples or descriptions about what's going on in the slide. So our first step we will want to do is we will want to use Screencastify. This is what the icon looks like. If you don't already have Screencastify, you will need to go open up a new tab in your browser and type Google Chrome Store, go find Screencastify and install that. So pause the video if you need to do that. If you already have it, what you'll be doing is when you are ready, and let's say this is the slide I want to record on, I'll just click my Screencastify button. I'll click record, which I'm using it right now. And I will start talking about this slide. When I'm ready, I will just hit the pause and stop button and it will automatically send a copy of that into my Google Drive. Then the next step is I want to go up here to insert video. I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive and since I just recorded it, it will be the first thing that pops up in your Google Drive. So there it is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and click that because I wanna insert it. And it's gonna pull up like the whole video because it recorded my whole screen. Well, remember, I just want the oral. I don't want the whole screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to minimize this and make it really teeny, teeny, tiny, small. And I'm going to place that in the corner down here. Now, if the format options didn't pop up, with the, which they usually do, all you have to do is select that and go right here to format options. This is probably the most important thing to click when you're doing this, is you wanna select autoplay when presenting. So that way when this slide is automatically open, you'll start to hear the narration. And you can even make this box a little smaller if you want so the students don't see it. Okay, and this is what would play. So the properties of acids are that they taste sour. Whatever it was I was saying in the video. And then you just continue on. Click your next slide, do the same thing, go Screencastify, record your oral or your examples, whatever you wanna say about that slide. Then go insert video and choose it from your Google Drive. Um, the only thing I do wanna make mention of is whenever you do have your video file, when Screencastify first finishes, um, uh, recording, you do want to select unlisted from the drop down menu. Make sure it's unlisted because this changes permission so that anybody um, that goes to this Google slide will be able to access that audio. My second step that I actually do is I don't want students to open it up in this view. I want it in presentation mode so that way it automatically is playing because like right now it's not automatically playing. So what I do is I go up here to the Omnibox and at the very end of the Omni box, you'll see the words edit, forward slash edit. You wanna highlight everything past that last forward slash where it says edit. And we wanna change this to present. We'll type in the word present. That means whenever the students click that link, it will put it in presentation mode. I'm going to copy this entire thing up here now that it says present. And that is actually what I paste into my link for Google Classroom. So that way when the students actually click on it, it goes directly into presentation mode and will um, start playing those audio files as they click through the slides. Instead of them opening up kind of like my viewpoint on the slides like this, it will go into a presentation mode. So I can show you what that looks like. This would be what they would see on phone and on their computer. And then when they click, that audio so the properties of acid will start to play. So that's how you do that. Have fun making one.